this red head sticking out. I don't know if this is legal, but we're uh, headed to public land for another hunt. And on the way, we're watching the newest Team Sebo video. So if you haven't watched it yet, go check out me and Ryan's youth hunt with Brody Gentry. It's a good hunt. We got it done Saturday. It was a wet one. But uh, me and Caleb are going after him again on public land this morning. Should be interesting. It's a little bit windy, but we think we know where a bird's at. So hopefully he's willing to work with us. Me and Caleb watched this bird that we're going to try to get on uh, Wednesday night. We was going to hunt him Thursday morning, but we got rained out. So we packed up camp. Our tent was underwater, and beds were wet and everything else, so we packed up tent and went home, and now we, we decided to come back. It's Friday morning, and uh, it's about 5.30. At the gas station, we're pretty close to where we want to go, so he's, we think he's roosted back here on this lake that's about 300 yards from this field where we saw him, and with it being wet, and windy out. It's been raining for the last day and a half. We think he's gonna go straight to the field. The sun's supposed to come out today, so hopefully that turns him on. But we got a good game plan. Hopefully he gobbles, and uh, we can at least figure out where he's at so we can make a move on him if we have to. Should be an interesting morning. We've got a lot of land to work with here on public, and, and uh, it's a Friday morning yet, so I don't think there'll be too many people out, but it should be fun. Another good day in the turkey woods. Yeah. Two people signed in. And we're the first ones. Get out of here. No. There was two yesterday at, on 425. There's nobody for 426. But this guy coming down the road here probably is getting ready to sign in. I would say. Yep, yeah, got it to ourselves this morning. So, see what happens. <laughs> He's oh. going to turn in here. I mean, he about has to be. Same two people that were in here the first day. It's the same two, same two names. He was running late. I wonder why he wasn't calling me. And raining. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's wet and raining. But anyway. I'm leaving this head like one walking down the campground. I'm sorry. I don't trust people.
these freaking ravines. <laughs> you can't get him out there. You can't go down. That drops off 30 feet. I don't know, man. This is pretty back in here, though. Holy cow. There's got to be turkeys in there. That wind screwed us this morning. It's going to calm down. They'll start going. We just got to be careful and not bump a bunch of them. You know they're in here. No, they are. Why wouldn't the one rest in that door? I know. He's right down my gun barrel. Two of them. I heard them. I heard them. Okay, there's two of them. I know. One 
it's going right. There's another one just fired off behind us. Are they stuck in that ravine? Oh, I don't know. That could be right there. He's farther away there. No, he's just turning around. I mean, we can't go nowhere. We're stuck. I'll tell you doing on public land, boys. Didn't hear a gobble. Did not hear a gobble all morning. And we just kept hanging out. I told Al they're in here. We knew they was in here. 
we seen them the other morning and we couldn't hunt yesterday it rained on us we knew these birds were in here it's just too pretty of an area so we just kept walking around and we was actually picking mushrooms we told Alice just hang out we didn't know where else to go it was extremely windy so we're picking mushrooms and we decide we're gonna start working back towards the car and Al lets out one more call and they just hammer they was about 150 yards away so we set up quick it wasn't the best setup in the world but look at the hooks on him dude set up quick and two of them came in and they started to get a little bit nervous i was gonna let them get closer but he turned around they got up here where they could see through this open hardwoods mm -hmm. and they couldn't see nothing we didn't have a decoy out they got a little bit nervous on us he was probably 35 yards so went ahead and took the shot but what a hunt that was that was fun that's, that's, that's fun. three birds on public for team sebo so we're doing good. What a year. <laughs> sure, baby. Tagged yeah. out. See What's, the hooks on him? I ain't even looked. He ain't no two-year-old. I just hear and hear missed him. Oh, maybe he is a two-year-old. Yeah, he, he just, oh, he might be a, I just hear and hear missed him. Did you? Because mm -hmm. as soon as I went to, he, he was going. I didn't think he was going to turn and leave. I was going to let him come. Mm -hmm. But good night, look at us. We stick out like a bunch of sore thumbs. Which tree were we on? What? Where were we at? Uh, see, I shot him right here. Oh my, we stick out like a bunch of sore thumbs. We're right there on that little pine tree. See that little pine tree? Oh my. Yeah, that's why he was, because you seen him looking at us? Mm -hmm. He came to right here and he's looking hard. And I was going to let them both get out here. Yeah. He turned around to leave. Yeah. He, he was done. I don't know if he came or not. The no, second one he was, wasn't. Did you hear him pitting and drumming? Oh my, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> the second one was the bigger bird. But we I should have put Thunder Chicken up. I think we, he would have came right to us. If we would have stuck thunder chicken, the only reason I said no is because of how thick it was in there around us. So I just said, oh, we won't need it. You know, let them hunt for us. But they they know the area. They yeah. came right here where they could see. Mm -hmm. there, did you hear the other one gobbled behind us while we was calling? Was did you not hear me? Mm -mm. I said, there's one behind us. And he was within 100 yards. He no gobbled, way. He gobbled one time. That was pretty. Did you get any video? Yeah. It's, it's, it's questionable. Uh, what do you do? But I yeah, mean, I'm I'm killing the birds. Yeah, I asked you. It's a heck. I had them. Okay. But it's it's not great. Yeah. Well, I knew you're in hardwoods. I, you know, if they was gonna come up there, I was gonna let them. Oh, I, I know. You did a great turn. job. You just let them go. Yeah. I got my gun turned. I'm like, if he comes, but when he poked his head up. So man, you didn't see looking. him until I told him he's coming left. I didn't. I see saw him. his white head come around. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't see him, but I thought they was gonna come up right there. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. man. Let's go find that waterfall, that creek, and take some pictures. I mean, that's a heck of a beard. There were two two-year-olds, that's what they were, I'd say. They separated. And then they came back together. They came back. That old gun rocked his world. That's a far shot. Yeah, it was deep. Mm -hmm. well, I tried to let them go because I oh, kept yeah, telling myself the whole time they was coming in, I'm like, do not shoot these things quick because I could have shot him. Yeah, I know. When I first seen yeah. him, he could have been dead, but... I was going to let him come all the way up in there. Mm -hmm. I thought they would. I don't know. Did he see me move? No, he just didn't see a hen. He got that's, nervous. Yeah. I wonder if they would have, but that's turkey. It's so hard to read him. Would have he spun a circle right there and kept coming? Nope, he was gone. I think, too, he was. Cause his I got nervous that you weren't going to shoot. Yeah, I, I was shooting. I wasn't going to let him spin. He spun the second time, and he didn't. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, why didn't Kendall? But he couldn't have shot. Yeah, that's a double all day. Oh my! That second bird, we could easy. I mean, we needed whenever we stopped back there, and that's my fault. But I'm trying to decide whether we was what I was trying to make the decision when I stopped back there and wanted to hear him one more time was whether or not we could come up through this trail, or if we needed to go back and around and get in. Mm -hmm. You know, we get just didn't know the way to land. That I didn't know how close we were to that ravine. This is I didn't the trail know we came side. down 15 minutes ago, right there. It was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is a little bottom yeah, across. That's yeah, that's how I knew that trail. But yeah. I, we're, they're right there where we picked the mushrooms. Yeah. Them yeah, right there on roosted. that top of that stump. <laughs> them birds were roosted right on top of us this morning. How did we not bump them when we came down through there? Either that or they were on that private and they came up through there. When they first gobbled, they were where me and you were sitting this morning. They, was, it, yeah. they might not have been on that side of the ravine. They might have been on this side. That's where they were. How'd I hit him in the foot?
get a wet of call off base diving. Oh, I'm on extended network. I'm not gonna be able to. You need to go up on top of the hill, you can get it. Yeah, that was pretty though. Did you talk about fun? Oh! I got a bunch of that on film too. Did you? Yeah. I was oh, gonna say, yeah. the, the guy, I was when wrong. I called and he wouldn't answer, I was like, they're either right on yeah. top of us, so I got a little bit louder. Oh, wham. And wham! And then I just shut up. I was yeah. like, and that might have hurt us too because I, mm -hmm. they were so close. They knew exactly, exactly where, where I was. They had us pinpointed. But I had to do that because I was scared. Yeah, they I just know. That's so why. Close. Did you hear me? I was like, do I need to call? Because I'm yeah. afraid they were going to get high. Hey, we got a big thunder chicken just bit the dust. Really? Yeah. Yeah, uh, two of them came in. Hammering. Just hammering. I mean, ripping it. And they got in here. I don't know. I shot him at about 35 yards. We had absolutely no cover. Got caught with our pants down like normal. But they started, they started gobbling. He just clucked at him a couple times. No, Al, they answered Al at about 200 yards, maybe. And then they and closed the distance up, fast. We set up once because I thought they was coming quick and it's so open in here. We set up. Well, they gobbled two more times the same spot, so we shut up and moved about 50, mm -hmm, 60 yards. We thought they were hung up somewhere. And we're sitting there deciding if we're going left or right. And about that time, he racks one off, so we just scrambled to the close the street. You know how he did. He, they closed the distance that fast. They were coming. And they split up. And then they, and then they stayed on that hillside, yeah. and they wanted us to come to them for a while. They were yeah. shutting up on that open hillside. And we were kind of down in this little ravine. Thick area. And then, and then the one, they split up, and the one was going right up to our high ground because I told Caleb when we set up when we were thinking about setting up I was like we need to get high what there went there went our other bird that was gobbling behind us a hundred yards so do what <laughs> screwed up didn't you all right we'll, we'll let you go I got him like 30 yards we'll shoot him We hear a gunshot. <laughs> I got a good placement. Here, hold that. You tag it. You hear the gunshot mm -hmm. when we was talking to Kendall? That wasn't very far from us yeah. on public. You know where he came in at? That road goes all the way back to this big lake, mm -hmm. and there's a boat dock there. That was the bird that gobbled, I guarantee you, because he gobbled behind. But no, it couldn't have been. Because that one that behind was right us here. was right that there. Shot was over there. Yeah, and that one behind us was only 100 yards when he got up. Like, I was thinking at one point that that bird had circled us. And I never heard that one behind us, though. I just remember. I told you, but I don't know if you heard me or not. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Where's this at? All right, resident. Let's see. Firearm. Yeah, uh, let's see. It's April. You just X them as a hey, what is today? I just put a check, 26. 26? Mm-hmm. They don't ask for a time on here anywhere? That's weird. Okay, license number. All right, let's get this thing to the car.